What do we got? We have a pomegranate. It's a dwarf pomegranate. Every time we have something bad around here, it's usually the water failing. Well, because I'm on the automated watering system and sometimes the, the emitters either get plugged or come out. Anyway, so this nice big one that's looking dead now, uh, it was dead and uh, it took I think this is the third or the fourth year since the recovery started. So we're just working off this little bit of growth at the base and then now we're going to try to style it so that it all fits together. Yeah, it took a while to get back to health. I uh, had it in a well protected area for I think two years and this year I took it out and put it in a lot of sun. That's why now it's starting to produce the flowers and the fruit. But initially it was just too weak to be in that situation. So anyway, so I thought what I want to do is trim a little bit because I'm still working on the health of the plant. So basically I'm just going to cut off a few so that we kind of go into some sort of style but primary focus is still on recovery. I want to make sure this thing gets really healthy before proceeding on. Okay now one of the problems with uh, pomegranate and other fruiting and flowering things is they're on the tip so if you want to save the tree with the flower and the fruit you can't cut it off but then that's part of our styling process right so you always have this conflict so typically on the pomegranate I usually prune very heavy early and then avoid pruning now good example would be right here you got one two lines one should be shorter Luckily, there's enough flowers there, so I am going to cut it here. But see, look at that nice fruit. So you always have this back and forth of do I keep it or don't? Better, but then I did sacrifice a fruit. Now, if that was the only fruit there, then I would have kept it. Because pomegranates, as business-wise, it sells better when there's a fruit. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is put it back into quite a bit of sun. Uh, it, it doesn't get the setting sun uh, because that's too hot. But rest of the day it's in full sun and I'm going to feed it a little bit heavier. Well, when it's uh, weakened, don't try to put too much fertilizer on it. It'll work against you. So I think this is now getting healthy. It's getting acclimated to the sun. So I'm going to put uh, a fair amount of fertilizer and let it go. So I'm still working on recovery. Make sure that it's nice and healthy. And I could see by next year, probably should put this into a nice pot. And I think even that, well typically we don't gin uh, pomegranates. Uh, usually we save that for conifers but it looks like it might work so anyway I just thought I show you the update of a near-death uh, experience pomegranate so we're in the tail end of July and it's been hot but this has made full recovery on the part that is still alive so anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. Yeah, well, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, there's a electronic turntable. Remember I told you I like a lot of gizmos? Yeah, this one is electronic and is helping to turn it. <laughs> I just like stuff. Okay, see you again.